made in Hollywood. Sterling K. Brown stars as an overbearing father struggling with keeping his family together in the wake of a traumatic loss in the emotional drama, Ways. Hello, I'm Renee Elise Goldsberry. And I'm Sterling K. Brown. You're watching Made in Hollywood. And here's a scene from our upcoming film, Waves. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not rude. It doesn't boast. Love also forgets wrong. I will always love you. Watching this film, I was on such an emotional ride. I mean, yeah. so many emotions like fled through me. And one word, pressure, 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 just kept on, especially the first half of the film. Right. How is this family under pressure, or specifically the son Tyler? What kind of pressure is he under? The fears that I have that my children will be dismissed or seen as less than just because of the color of their skin, written off to the lowest common denominator because that's what black boys do, that's where they go. And I don't want that for my children. I don't think that Ronald wants that for Tyler in this film. And so he wants to give him the tools to be uh, written off proof, right? So that when people see him, they see excellence wherever he goes. And that is a lot of pressure. I mean, it was a lot of pressure for us to shoulder being told, like, you don't just represent yourself, oh, yeah. you represent your family, you represent your community, and people are watching. I was told you couldn't bring C's home because that's what average and we're not average. Yeah. I mean, we, yeah, we were held up to um, a, a, a standard that I think is beautiful. Sure. I don't think we should pull the bar down. No. I just think we need to leave room always, always for people to be vulnerable and to make mistakes. Amen. I'm trying to give you the tools to succeed in this world. It's not easy out there. Everything I do is for y'all. Everything. I know you're under a lot of pressure right now, but I'm just getting really scared. He's a kid who's kind of living his best life in the beginning, and he he's, he's, he's has a beautiful girlfriend, he has, he's killing in his, his wrestling life, and he also has a dad that loves him maybe too much, and I think that's what he's trying to, to figure out, what where is it coming from, and what is the, the relationship truly, and is this expectation that's been thrusted upon him necessary? You know, there's, there's a lot of hyper-focus on Tyler and what he's going through, and I think sometimes you know, there can be children in the family who need a little bit more attention and then the parents kind of don't think that the other ones do and think that they'll be okay. You see her in, in the first half and in the background and kind of her grow from that. Lord knows I've held on to way too much hate in my life. But all we have is love. Why would you say this film is relatable? I think everyone is someone's son, someone's daughter, and everyone has parents. And I think we're all trying to navigate our relationships and our families and, and, and truly try to understand each other and nurture those connections. The fact that this film is, bring, I mean, from what we've experienced, bringing so many people together in the, in the theaters and they're all having this emotional experience together and they're all connecting afterward and like, it's just, it's bringing people together and that's really beautiful to see. That being vulnerable with them is a way of showing them that it's okay for them to live in that space. And I also, just in terms of parents and children, making sure that we have the space to let them know that they're gonna be loved regardless. All we have is now. Thanks for checking out this video. We want to know what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the MIH TV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there.